Find the equation of a circle concentric with the circle x square plus y square minus 6x plus 12y plus 15 equals to 0 and has double of its area. Let us say this is the circle which is given to us whose equation is x square plus y square minus 6x plus 12y plus 15 equals to 0. Now the circle what we require is concentric with this circle that means both of them have the same center. So if you are able to identify what is the center of this circle then we know that our circle also will have the same center. Another thing they told us that the area of the new circle is equal to twice the area of the old circle. So the area of the required circle what we want is twice the area of the given circle. Now if areas are in the ratio 2 is to 1 since area is proportional to square of the radius, radius will be in the ratio of radii will be in the ratio of root 2 is to 1. So these are the concepts which we will be using to solve this problem. Now we can solve this problem in two methods. One we can use the equation of a circle standard form or you can use equation of circle general form. We will be solving this with standard form. Now what is the standard form of a circle equation? x minus h whole square plus y minus k whole square equals to r square is the standard form where the center is given by h comma k coordinates center is at h comma k and the radius is given by r. Now the given equation whatever we want to convert that into standard form. So we will use a little bit of completing the squares concept and try to get this into standard form. So let's go ahead and write down the given circle equation which is x square plus y square minus 6x plus 12y plus 15 equals to 0. Now this is what is given to us but what we need is squares and we don't have perfect squares here. So what we will do, we will separate them so that we can complete the squares. x square minus 6x one part plus y square plus 12y equals to minus 15. Now what we have here is a square minus 2ab and the term which is missing is b square. If you are able to add b square term then we can write x square minus 6x plus some value is equal to x minus some value whole square. Now that's the logic what we are going to apply now. Now in this scenario we have to remember the b value is always equals to half of quotient of middle term or half of quotient of 2ab term or middle term. So x square minus 6x that means what is our middle term 6x. 6x divide what is the quotient of 6x? 6. 6 by 2 equals to 3. So what we need to do now is we have to add b square. So x square minus 6x plus 9 plus y square plus 12y. Again 12y is our middle term. Quotient is 12. 12 by 2 is 6 and we need to add 6 square that is 36. If we are adding it on the left side we should add it also on the right side so that the balance is maintained. Now we got almost the given equation into the standard form. So we can simplify that as x square minus 6x six six plus 9 that is x minus 3 whole square plus y square plus 12y plus 36 y plus 6 whole square is equal to 45 minus 15 30 which is root 30 whole square. Now compare with the standard form. Compare this with the standard form. 
we can clearly see h comma k is given by 3 comma minus 6 and the radius is equals to root 30. Given to us that the new circle area is 2 times of the given circle area, 2 times of a. What is the formula for area of a circle? Pi r square. So, pi r1 square is equal to 2 pi r square. When we simplify that, we will have r1 square equals to 2 r square or r1 is equal to root 2 into r. R1 is equal to root 2 into R. So, we can write down that. We know that R1 is equals to root 2 into R. So, let us go to our new circle and write down. The new circle center will be the same because they are concentric circles. And the radius what we require is root 2 times of the given radius given circle radius which is root 60. Now once we know the center and the radius of the circle, we can go back to the standard form and we can write down x minus 3 whole square plus y plus 6 whole square is equal to x minus 3 whole square plus y plus 6 whole square equals to radius square which is root 60 whole square and that is equal to 60. So, let us simplify that. We will have x square plus y square minus 6x plus 12y minus 15 equals to 0. So, the equation of the circle concentric with the circle x square plus y square minus 6x plus 12y plus 15 equals to 0 and has double of its area is x square plus y square minus 6x plus 12y minus 15 equals to 0. Now quickly let us see how we can solve the same problem by using general form equation. When we want to solve it in another method, we will write down what is the equation given to us. x square plus y square minus 6x plus 12y plus 15 equals to 0. Now, the general form of circle equation is given by x square plus y square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c equals to 0. In this scenario, the center is given by minus g comma minus f and the radius is given by square root of g square plus f square minus c. Now, since we have been given the equation of the circle, let us go ahead and try to find out what will be our center and the radius. Given to us 2g equals to minus 6 and 2f equals to 12. So, that gives us g equals to minus 3 and f equals to 6. Similarly, radius is given by square root of g square that is minus 3 whole square or plus 3 whole square that is 9 plus f square that is 36 minus c, c is 15. So, we have radius equals to root 30. So, whatever the equation of the circle given to us, we know now its center is minus 3 comma 6 and the radius is root 30. Now, once we are able to do till this part, we know that the new radius r1 is equal to root 2 into r which is equals to root 2 into root 30 that is equals to root 60. Now, we know that new radius is root 60 and we know the center is minus 3 comma 6. So, let us use the definition of the radius which says r equals to square root of g square plus f square minus c dash r1 we are talking about. Let us substitute root 60 is equal to square root of g square that is 9 plus 36 
minus c dash squaring on both sides we will have 60 equals to 45 minus c dash or c dash equals to minus 15 so the new equation of the circle which is concentric with the given circle and has double its area is given by x square plus y square minus 6x plus 12y will remain as it is the same only the c term is going to change instead of plus 15 it will become minus 15 let's have a recap of this problem we have been given an equation of a circle and we were told to find out the equation of another circle which is concentric with the given circle this is the given circle this is the required circle they both are having same center concentric and the area of the new circle is double the old circle now whatever the equation given to us either we use standard form or general form the concept is to find out what are the coordinates of the center and what is the radius and then we know that a new area is double the old area that means the radius will be root to two times because area is proportional to square of the radius so if areas are in the ratio 2 is to 1 obviously the radii will be in the ratio root 2 is to 1 so find out the old radius multiply that with root 2 to get r1 value once we got the r1 value we know the center will be the same so we can use either standard form or general form to find out the equation of the circle which is x square plus y square minus 6x plus 12y minus 15 equals to 0.